Anna! Anna! There you are. Anna, it's already growing dark. You know how I feel about you being out at night. Grandpa, I'm fine. I was just finishing the chores around the farm. Oh, my dear. You needn't do so much. Come inside. Rest. It's fine, Grandpa. I like helping out around the house. I'm not so little anymore, you know? <sighs> yes. Quite right. Quite right. And I was thinking, well, maybe, maybe next week, instead of you, I can go sell our crops in the village? No. No. That is for me, and me alone. I'm sorry, my dear. It's just... the things that are out there. Promise me, you won't ever venture out into those woods. I... I promise. Good. Good. And when I do go, you must always remember, however near or far we may be, in our hearts, we carry our family. This is a tale that began in a number of places, as many often do. It began once with two sisters in a faraway school where children were cruel and misunderstood all the same. Today, however, it begins in a deep, dark wood where a very special girl indeed was about to begin a long and perilous journey. Once upon a time, there was a girl named Anna who lived with her grandfather in a deep, dark wood. He told her of all the evils that lurked outside the safety of their humble farm and warned her never to venture far. One night, however, the grandfather grew suddenly ill, yet he insisted Anna promise not to enter those woods. Her love for him was so strong that she could not and at once set out on her ill-fated quest for a cure. The brave girl traveled cautiously into those woods, wary of all the stories her grandfather had told her. Careful as she was, however, a wicked old witch, filled with the most evil of intent, followed her from dark and foggy shadow. The old woman snatched the girl away, and in the darkest corner of those cursed woods, she locked her in a great tower. The witch, you see, had plans for the girl, but the girl had an unwavering determination to save her beloved grandpa. Oh, Grandpa, what have I gotten myself into? If... if only I'd have listened to you, then... No, I can't think like that. Grandpa needs me. I have to find a way to help him. That's it. I don't know how I'll do it, but no matter what, I have to find an escape. Anna? Ah! Did you say something before? Who were you talking to? Oh, uh, just talking to myself, I guess. Hmm. Well, stop it. It's weird. And come closer. I've told you a thousand times I can't hear you properly over there. So, Anna. How are you this evening? 
Is this a trick question? You never care about how I am. That's nice. Now listen carefully. The time has finally come for your experiment. Ah, uh, exercise. Yes, exercise. Exercise? See your nice red chair over there? I need you to go on and sit in it. Um, what exactly is this exercise? Just do as I say. Uh, <laughs> that is to say, come along, dear. Nothing to be afraid of. Be a good girl and sit in the chair now, hmm? <sighs> it is a very comfy chair. I would use it more if it wasn't for the scary looking machine hanging above it. Good. Very good. All right. Stay very still now, Anna. Now hop up, Anna. Quickly now. So tell me, do you feel different? Somehow different in your head, perhaps? Actually, yeah, I kind of do. I feel kind of, kind of, kind of sick and dizzy. Those lights were really intense. Oh. Curse you, child. That should have brought out your powers. Um... Do you mean, like, pat my head and rub my tummy? It's pretty tricky, but I wouldn't call it a power. Your telekinesis. Show it to me. Tell a what? I know you have it. I've seen it. If he has it, then you must have it. I'm sorry, I really don't know what you mean. I don't have any powers. Hmm. This may be harder than I first thought. All right, all right. Go and pick up your spoon. Uh, no, that's okay. I'm not really that hungry. No, not to eat. Pick it up. Hold it out. And then think about nothing except the spoon bending. Well, come on, child. This seems rather silly, but I think the witch's patience is running out. I better just do as she says. Concentrate on bending the spoon, huh? Concentrate on bending the spoon. All right then, here goes nothing. Mm. I don't believe it. What? What did you say? What happened? I bent the spoon? I bent the spoon? Wow. Come closer, child. I can't hear you. It worked! It actually worked! I bent the spoon! Show it to me. Hold it up to the camera. See? Look! I really did it! Yes! Yes! <laughs> Finally, it's mine! All mine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh oh. Oh, but I still have so many things to do. So many things to prepare. Anna, don't go anywhere. Um. But there isn't anywhere to go. Yes, good girl. Good girl. Oh. <laughs> The day has come at last. I can't help but feel a little uneasy about this. 
Whatever the witch is planning, it can't be good. What should I do? Um, hello? Is someone there? Uh, hello? Ah! Ah! You can hear me? What is this? You can hear me. Oh boy, I wasn't sure if I'd be able to talk or not. Wow, that sure is a big relief. Is this another one of your tricks, witch? Anna? Oh no, shh, Anna, you gotta be quiet. Anna, who are you talking to? Oh no, oh no, what have I done? This is bad. I, I was talking to... Oh. No one. Just myself. Again? Anna, really? I wish you'd quit doing that already. You're distracting me. Hello? Who are you? Oh, I'm... I'm... Mm, I'm... Bear? No, wait, that's not right. Be ben? Burn? Burshin? Oh wait, yes! It's Ben! It's Ben! Wow, I remembered! You have trouble remembering things? Oh yeah, everything from before. I wasn't always like this. What did you mean, not always like this? Oh, I'm really like you, Anna. You're a girl? No, yuck! I'm not a girl, silly. I'm a boy. Well, I was a boy when that old woman first brought me here. So the witch, she did this to you? Turned you into a teddy bear? Uh-huh. I, I, I think something went wrong. She screamed and said witchcraft was stupid and, and I was so scared. So I just sat here and tried to stay as still and quiet as possible. Gee, Ben, that's awful. I'm sorry. How long have you been here for? Oh, I'm, I'm not really sure, but it sure feels like a long time. A very, very long time. I tell you, I was so happy when you came, Anna. Finally, a friend. Are you, did you say you're gonna escape? Shh, not so loud. This isn't happening. What isn't happening, Anna? This. Me talking to you. Isn't it? I'm not sure. I suppose it is. I... I think it is, Anna. What were you getting so worried about before? Oh, Anna, this is bad. Why? What is she planning? Well, I'm not sure. But it's bad. It's very bad. Just look at what she's done to me. And with that power of yours, she wants to take it from you somehow. I'm sure of it. It's okay, Ben. I'm going to escape. Well, we're going to escape. I'll take you with me. <gasps> I knew it, Anna. I knew it. Oh, but, um, how are we going to escape, Anna? I'm not sure yet. I'm starting to think, though, this power of mine. Oh yeah, I saw that. That's amazing. You are so clever. Yes, well, I guess I can bend spoons now, but it doesn't seem strong enough to do anything useful. If I could try that machine again, maybe I can make it stronger and... Oh no, Anna, you can't. It's too dangerous. It's all covered in cables and lights and, and, and machine things. Okay. Okay, let me think about this. That blue light in the headgear thing, that's what seemed to bring this telekinesis out. So then, perhaps there's a way of removing that from the rest of the machine, or perhaps there's a way of controlling it from in here? Oh, Anna, you really are so smart. Uh, but, um, how are you gonna do that, Anna? I'll figure it out. I'm going to keep looking for a way out. Oh, this is so exciting. A rubber ball. 
hours of fun. Grandpa would never let me have something this sharp. I guess the witch doesn't have much care for children and safety. Just looking at it reminds me of the gunk the witch fed me. Blech. Cooking is obviously not one of the witch's specialties. I have to say, these are pretty fun. The witch did all right with these. I'll just take a crayon, I think. Hmm, and some paint too. I like paint. I could be wrong, but I have a feeling the witch made that mattress out of wood. Every morning I wake up with splinters. What a sad looking thing, all flat and lumpy. I barely get any sleep on it. I could be wrong, every morning All these stuffed animals are so adorable. I'm sure the old witch hates them for that very reason. It's a very, very shiny horn you have there, Mr. Unicorn. And, uh, a little sharp and pointy, too. I suppose I could cut off his horn if I wanted to. Nope, that thing stuck fast. I'm sorry, Mr. Unicorn. Close your eyes now. Ooh, see, that wasn't so bad. That thing was there before I even got here. It really, really freaks me out. circle of rubber thing. Right, let's see. Most of these things here are just lights, but on the bottom half there seems to be more buttons and controls kind of stuff. They're protected by some kind of cover though. Hmm, that means the witch didn't want me using them. I'm taking this as a good sign. Ah, this might be pointy enough to get under the cover and pry it off. Let's see. Ah, Mr. Unicorn's horn! It got all bent and broken. Guess I don't really need it anymore. Okay, let's see here. Buttons, buttons, buttons. None of them seem to have any indication about what they are or what they do. Hmm, uh, fingers crossed, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. But look, Ben. That bit there. That's the glowing bit. Those blue light bits seem to be glowing more now that it's disconnected, too. So, maybe if I try it now... Ah, Anna, that sounds good. About it glowing and everything. But I'm not so sure you should pick that up. It does seem rather... sparky, doesn't it? Hmm... Maybe there's something I can use to pick it up safely, though. Ah, yes! This rubber should make it safe to pick up. I... hope? I have to say, even after doing all that, even if I can pick it up, should I really be putting something like this on my head? Grandpa, 
I know you tell me not to ever do something as crazy as this. If it means getting back to him, though, I have to try. Here goes nothing, I suppose. Oh, my head. I feel like my brain just turned upside down. Anna? Are you all right? Did it work? Anna? What was that light just then? Uh, you see... What are you doing in there, child? I was just... What do I say? Anna, don't you turn your back on me. I don't know what you're up to in there. But remember this. I'm watching you. I can assure you, little girl, whatever you are up to, you will regret it. That's it. If I can tamper with the speaker, maybe gently move the camera, then she might not be able to see or hear me escape. All right. Here goes nothing. Uh-oh. That was a little more than I intended. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! She's gonna be so mad at us, Anna! This time, Ben, you're very right about that. I think I see her now. She's coming, Anna! She's coming! It's too late to worry about her now. We have to get out of here, quick! Oh yes, Anna! Your power! Hurry! Mm. Alright, it's time to go, Ben. Um... Do you need some help getting up? Oh no, no. No, I can do this. Uh-huh. Oh dear. That's it, Ben. You've got it. Oh boy. I did it. I really did. Okay. Okay, quick. We need to see if you can walk so we can get going. Oh yes. Let me see. Well, there you go. You really did do it. All right, Grandpa. I'm coming. Maybe... a magic hat? I wonder if the witch uses it for any of her spells. Poison? What's that doing there? More importantly, what's it doing there next to my dishes? I really have to get out of this place. No time for that. We've got to get out of here. Ah! Ah! Oh! <laughs> It's just a painting. What are you doing, Ben? I'm hiding. It's too scary down here. Ah! What now? <gasps> I can't look. I can't. Not now. Not now. Mm. Oh, my nose. Oh, dear. Curse you, Anna!